That's what, uh, that's my native language. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing Space Engineers. Now, last episode in Space Engineers, we were working on a survival ship. I want to change direction. I want to see if we can build and design a proper attack vessel. So Space Engineers doesn't have any real ship size comparison. There's no determined scale of what classifies a ship as what. So you don't really have an idea of what your ship is and what it should be capable of. For instance, if I build a ship that's 100 blocks long with 30 guns, what is it classified? Is it classified as a Corvette? Like a small, fast ship? Or is it considered a battleship? So I like to do this scale. Okay, so if what I said didn't make sense to you already, what I'm explaining is for every block, there is uh, there's a certain amount of blocks to classify uh, a certain ship. So essentially what I'm saying is that if your ship build is between 20 to 39 blocks long, then that would be classified as a frigate, right? Uh, if it's obviously zero, it doesn't really make sense, but more, more or less like 10 to 19 sized of a big ship would be a Corvette so and so forth. So 40 to 69 blocks would be a cruiser and then battleship to battle cruiser and these are all just rough estimates. I may change them later in the future, but I think this is a good basis. So we are going to try and build what I believe would be the best design of frigate. So this frigate is going to be uh, a ship to ship combat with frontal assault and uh, the capability of being able to last in battle. So something that's uh, cheaply produced but can hold its ground in space. So our first steps is to design a good shape. I personally like the design of the Pillar of Autumn from, uh, what is that? From Halo? I, I have always liked and found interest in ideas or ships that have that kind of hexagonal plate kind of look. I was never into the triangular shape of big star destroyers or anything. So that's what I'm going to base my design off of. So what I'm doing right now is to get a good idea of the length of the ship. I'm going to basically mark about 30 blocks of, uh, of usable space for my ship. So, and that I believe is about... 30 blocks. Yeah, 31 blocks. So that will fit my qualifications of a frigate. So I'm going to design my ship to have essentially a taller, uh, thin look to it. So what I want is kind of a hexagon shape going from this point out here, straight up, and then taper in. And what I'm going to try and do is house all the engines on the back. A lot of the components and protective parts are going to be back here. Whereas the front of the ship is going to ha house a lot of the um, uh, hangar space and, and guns, essentially. And we're not going to have a big hangar bay because it is a small frigate and the hangar capability isn't the primary objective of this ship. Um, it's more of just you know, charge in, do some damage to the opponent, and get out. So, let us begin. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, okay, so you're probably looking at this right now like what in God's name is that? But uh, <laughs> when I finish with it, you'll understand it a little more. So this right here that I'm coloring are going to be pieces of armor that come down and protect uh, this portion of the ship. And same with here, same with here. Uh, these parts are going to be just the kind of areas that make the ship look the way I want it to. Not really have any purpose, just to kind of give it that shape. And then all back here is going to be the housing for our thrusters. Now, something I have to consider, which I see a lot of ships do this now, is incorporate hydrogen into it. And I'd like to do that with this ship. I just don't know how I can fit it all in without um, overcrowding the space. Another common thing that I like to do with all of my ships is try to hide all of the thrusters within the ship. So uh, essentially I have my backwards thrust pointing within my ship and have enough room uh, enough spacing to not burn my ship but I don't think I'll be able to do that with large thrusters unfortunately so this is gonna annoy me because it's not gonna have enough uh, stopping power but what I can do is I can use small thrusters on the inside to stop my ship from moving Alright, so we have this much done on the ship. So we have the frame, we've got some armor placements. So this is essentially the shape that I'm going for. Uh, I'm going to have it, I'm going to try and not make it stick out any more than that. Made me bring it in a little bit because I really want that blade shape. Um, You know, as if it's like a, a frigate made for cutting into battleships and, you know, tearing apart fleets but it's like small like a dagger but uh we're gonna test it out and see how it flies i've got a couple gyroscopes down below i've got one two three four five six seven uh all right 14 gyroscopes i've got one reactor some ion thrust so let's just see how well it flies i'm gonna Copy and paste another one beside it, just to give it a reference for speed. So obviously it's turning pretty quick. And that's what we want. So if we go forward... Oh yeah, it picks up fast. Oh yeah, that flies pretty good. Obviously it's just a frame, so... Oh, I nudged it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to cut a little more. I think these armor pieces, if they were a little more angled downwards, they would uh look a little better, a little more blade-like. But in terms of picking up speed, it's 
It's really quick. I like that. I don't know how that's going to act when we've got more armor. We've got the interior still to do. Also with all of the weight. So... Strafing wise, it doesn't move left and right that well, but the idea is you come in, you attack, then you fly away, and then you spin around towards your target again, stop, shoot, and then you fly away, spin around at your target, face him, shoot him, gun him down. Yeah. So let's clean up the su the armor a little bit and see what we can do to make it better. I think it's flying perfectly well. I think we've got enough power, especially when it's all filled up. Um, so yeah, the only thing we got to do is make it a little thinner and uh, we'll be good. So we have gotten in the prototype of our frigate and it's looking awesome. That is totally the blade shape that I want. So it's got those steep angles. These clearly look like armored plates for our spaceship. We've got the two missile pods right here and we will have missile turrets eventually, but I just wanted to do, um, a toughness test and a strength test of the ship by simply grabbing one flipping it over and shooting it so we're going to charge at it and see if we can maneuver around while destroying it so we just get our missile block oh yeah there we go and get the side that we're going to attack from yeah so the slowing capability is pretty bad so we would see our target start shooting at it fly above it spin around continue to fire and this is what we want we want this drifting for our ship Alright, so now we're going to check out the damage that we've done. Yeah, so clearly the rockets do quite a bit of damage. Uh, thrusters are totally off. I think they've been totally disconnected. Um, I'm not really surprised. It doesn't have any turrets. It wasn't going to put up a fight. Um, 
But as you saw in that little clip there, we were able to drift around the ship uh, quite easily. So I think my only worry is later down the line, once we add internals and a little more armor and some more components, it's going to get heavier. And if it becomes heavier, we're going to add, we're going to have to add more, I, I think, uh, left and right thrust as well as up and down thrust. And I think it's going to, once we start to add more of those uh, parts, it's going to start to crowd the ship and uh, take up a lot of space. So I don't know how that's all going to work out, but I think for the start of this ship, as for a frame and some basic eternals, it's turned out pretty good. But that's all I have for today, so I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, leave a comment saying that you like this video. Also, if you want me to do a follow-up video on the survival craft, I will be more than happy to do that. Just leave a comment down below saying so. Uh, I hope you guys spread the word of Chonkers. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope to see you all very soon when I post my next video. <laughs> Alright guys, until the next time, Chonkers out.